what we have here is we have wires coming down from the array down into a, a readily accessible DC disconnect that is rated for 600 volts DC. Then the wires come out of that over through this conduit up into this inverter. The purpose of the inverter is to change DC over to AC, and we have breakers built into this. We also have a GF uh, P protector right built into the inverter here. We come out of this device coming out with AC power, typically 240 volts, and feed into a backfed breaker in the panel. We are allowed to back feed into a panel that is already fed with its full capacity on the main breaker and exceed that rating by 20%. And, but we must put that breaker down at the bottom of the bus and so that we do not overload any part of the bus. And so this breaker is actually being back fed, feeding onto the bus, and then feeding the loads. And if it provides more power into the bus than uh, is being used, pulled off of the bus, then it back feeds up through this breaker and down through these wires and actually turns the meter backwards and gives us credit throughout the day and pumps power back up onto the grid. So our meter would be spinning backwards all day and then would be going forwards at night as because our array wouldn't be producing any power. And if we build our array big enough, we would have an array. Uh, the net effect would be that the meter would actually end up moving backwards over time and then we wouldn't have a bill to pay.